A welcome everyone to a new video. So in this video, we are going to look at the organic chemistry part from TIFR exam 2016. So this particular problem, which is based on the NMR, has already been asked in the previous years. The so chemistry solution that I uploaded for TIFR 2017, was already included. But for we will go over this particular problem. So they are talking about the a compound having this particular molecular formula it has a strong ir between the 3300 and 3400 and then you see three signals in the nmr now they say that when you add d2 into the sample the lower field signal which is 3.45 it disappears now it clearly means that here we are talking about uh, alcohol or phenolics kind of a system yeah. but if we calculate the double bond equivalence it means the degree of unsaturation it is zero it is zero yeah. so it means that there is no double bond or ring that is present in the molecule so it has to be the uh, aliphatic system that we are talking about now based on these observations we can clearly i mean omit option number b because it is not ether ether yeah. it अब हम बाकी पर जितने भी हमारे ऑप्शन हैं उनका मैंने मार देख लेते हैं कितना उसके अंदर आएगा एक्चुअली सिग्नल्स आएंगे फॉर एग्जांपल इन द केस ऑफ वन फॉर पेंटेन डायल सो वी आर गोइंग टू सी सिंस इट्स अ सिमेट्रिकल स्ट्रक्चर अगर मैं यहां से इसको डिवाइड करूं हाफ में इट्स अ सिमेट्री इट हैज अ सो इट मींस व्हाट वी आर गोइंग टू सी इज टोटल फोर सिग्नल वन सिग्नल फॉर टू और टू हाइड्रोक्सी ग्रुप्स वन सिग्नल फॉर दीस टू मिथिलीन ग्रुप्स एंड वन सिग्नल फॉर दीस टू मिथिलीन ग्रुप्स एंड वन फॉर दी सेंट्रल मिथिलीन ग्रुप्स सो टोटल फोर एनएमआर सिग्नल सो ऑप्शन वन कैन आल्सो बी नेगलेक्टेड बिकॉज़ इन एनएमआर वी शुड सी ओनली थ्री सिग्नल्स ऑप्शन नंबर अगर हम देखें हमारा ऑप्शन नंबर सी के अंदर सो इट हैज सिमेट्री अगेन बट हियर वी आर गोइंग टू सी one signal for the OH, both the OHs, one signal for both the methylene groups and one signal for both the methylene group and they are going to be the in the ratio 3, 2, 1. So this is going to be the right answer and if we look at the option number D, again we are going to see total 4 signals in the NMR. So based on the NMR data in itself we can tell the correct answer of option number C. और हमको C13 डाटा की शायद जरूरत भी नहीं थी इस केस के अंदर। So the next problem that was again based on the NMR, so they said that the what the compound that we are dealing with has a molecule of C5H11. So if we calculate the double bond equivalence, it means that there is no unsaturation that is present in the molecule. And they said that the 1H NMR has two signals and 13 sorry the 1H NMR has one signal and 13C NMR has like two signals. So out of these four, which one is correct? So let's just simply look into the options that are there so for the pentane since, since it has a symmetry we are going to see three signals for nmr and three for c13 for two methyl butane we are going to see four signals in both 1h nmr and 30c nmr and for two to dimethyl propane we are going to see actually one signal in the nmr and two in the c13 one signal is going to be for the four methyl groups and in the in the 1h nmr and in 13c we are going to see one signal for four methyl groups and for this quaternary there is going to be other signal so the correct option was option number c they are saying that the 1h nmr of a compound shows a doublet and a septet isopropyl group ke baare mein baat kar rahe hain aur is charo ke charo options ke andar it is option number b jiske andar aapka kya hai isopropyl group has so this is the isopropyl group that we are talking about for this particular hydrogen so for this hydrogen we are going to see a septet for these two methyl group you are going to sub see a doublet okay so it was a pretty straightforward answer as i've said that uh, learning about the nmr it's 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 all about the more you practice the more you will understand and in in tfr what i have seen a lot of questions are basically asked on the nmr So here what we have is an interesting problem. They have said the neopentyl chloride reacts with sodium sodamide to produce a new compound. So we are going to see two signals in the NMR. So it means that in the NMR we have two signals. This is going to be the ratio. So again, what I do is basically just draw all the structures to see how many signals uh, we are going to see. That that in a way tells us what is going to be the correct answer. So for two methyl butene, we are going to see four signals. How? One for the hydrogen and one for the methyl and one each for the these two methyl groups. Since these two methyl groups are in different environment, for example, this methyl is uh, cis to this hydrogen and this particular methyl is trans to this hydrogen. And that is why these two are going to give us two separate signals. Jabki hum one one dimethyl cyclopropene ki baat kare, we are going to see only two signals. So it means the correct option is going to be option number two. वो किस लिए क्योंकि हमारा अगर यहाँ पर हमारा मिथाइल ग्रुप क्या है कि ये वाले हमारे दोनों के दोनों हाइड्रोजन्स आर गोइंग टू फेस द सेम इन्वायरमेंट क्योंकि बगल में जो आपका फंक्शनल ग्रुप है मिथाइल ग्रुप इट इट इज़ द सेम फंक्शनल ग्रुप कोई यहाँ पे कोई भी डिफरेंस नहीं है केमिकल इन्वायरमेंट में सो वी आर गोइंग टू सी वन सिग्नल फॉर बोथ द मिथाइल ग्रुप्स एंड वन सिग्नल फॉर दी बोथ दी 
हाइड्रोजन ठीक है ये वाले हाइड्रोजन भी ये अभी हाइड्रोजन भी और बीच में अगर हम इसको डिवाइड करें वट इट एज अ प्लेन ऑफ सिमेट्री एज वेल सो दैट इज अ रीजन वाई यू गोइंग टू सी ओनली टू सिग्नल्स अगर हम मिथाइल साइक्लोब्यूटेन की बात करें सो दिस इज वट वी कैन ड्रॉ यहाँ पर मैंने जो मिथाइल आई कंसिडर आई एव कंसिडर दिस कमिंग आउट ऑफ द प्लेन यू कैन ऑल्सो कंसिडर दिस मिथाइल गोइंग बिहाइंड द प्लेन ठीक है दिस इज जस्ट टू शो यू फॉर एग्जाम्पल नाउ वाई सिक्स सिग्नल सो दिस फॉर वन फॉर दिस पर्टिकुलर मिथाइल एंड वन फॉर दिस हाइड्रोजन नाउ वी कैन सी द हाइड्रोजन दैट आर अटैच फॉर दिसम दिस सिंस ओके In the case of the cyclopropane and cyclopropane, since the conformation is locked, that that is the reason why these uh, hydrogens they become more like a uh, you know a cis and trans. So this hydrogen is cis to methyl and this hydrogen is trans. So it has both these hydrogens have the different chemical environment. Similarly, these two hydrogens also have the different chemical environment. Okay, and these two hydrogen also going to have a different chemical environment. So what the number of signal that we are going to see is six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. that is the simple reason for cyclopentane we are going to see one signal because there is no change in the chemical environment so the correct answer for this particular question was option number b yet another problem now iske andar pucha gaya hai ki the nmr of 11 dibromoethane consists of two signals ek large hai ek chota hai so how they are going to appear in the nmr what what sort of a, i mean uh, signal strength hogi in nmr we clearly understand the area under the peaks इज अ रेप्रजेंटेटिव ऑफ अदर नंबर ऑफ हाइड्रोजेंस ठीक है और हमको पता है इन केस ऑफ वन वन डायब्रोमो इथिन द मिथाइल ग्रुप हैज मोर नंबर ऑफ हाइड्रोजन सो इट मीन्स द एरिया अंडर विच इज गोइंग टू हैव हायर इंटेंसिटी ठीक है सो मिथाइल इज गोइंग टू गिव अ डबलेट एंड द हाइड्रोजन इज गोइंग टू गिव अ स्मॉट अ कॉटेट क्योंकि this particular hydrogen is only for this particular area under the peak is only for one hydrogen that is why it will have a small peak and this will be for the three hydrogen it is going to have the large peak so the correct option for this one is going to be option number d the present problem that we are going to talk about is basically based on the peptide ligation reaction so what we are given is this particular thioester treated with a reagent giving compound x followed by treatment with the alkylazide to give us a peptide bond formation so this is exactly what is happening so this is particular reaction or this particular reaction sequence is based on a very well known strodinger ligation reaction now in the first step what we have is a thioester which is attacked by the uh, thiol okay uh, fin uh, thiol to give us this particular intermediate so the negative charge on oxygen comes back and this entire group leaves to give us the compound number x so out of all these options we can clearly see either option number d or option number a either one of them should be the correct one now in the next step what happens the lone pair of electrons on 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 the phosphine it attacks the azide and in a two step sequence what do you end up getting is the azylide so here again in this particular react in this particular sequence so this is a kind of an intermediate that form the driving force is the elimination of the nitrogen which gives you the elite or jaise hi aapka elite banta hai this negative charge on the nitrogen it again attacks the activated thioester now here what we have is an aryl thioester which to give you this particular aapka phosphonium elite or jaise hi aap iske andar water dalte hai we know phosphine has a very strong affinity for the oxygen to give you the corresponding triphenyl phosphine oxide and the desired amide coupling so the correct option in this case was the option number a so the next problem basically was based on a very very well known protocol for the synthesis of precursors of n cyclo and n hydro and hydrocyclic carbenes it's a very well known protocol so if you uh, here what we have is an uh, diimine as a starting material then if you take take tms chloride along with the uh, this is a source of a formaldehyde so what we are taking is basically formaldehyde here and since it's a polymer so what happens when you just heat it in ethyl acetate or when you heat it in general at 70 degrees what happens is formaldehyde it just breaks to release the formaldehyde gas okay and it is this formaldehyde gas which reacts with the amine so what happens lone pair of electron on nitrogen it attacks the aldehyde carbonyl of uh, formaldehyde aur jaise hi aapka o negative generate hota hai o negative aapka kya karta hai silyl pe attack karta hai so this is the intermediate that you get and the chloride ion that is generated it plugs this hydrogen to release the hcl so this is the intermediate that you form and as soon as this intermediate is formed it undergoes 15 dipolar cyclization 
where the six pi electrons are involved so this negative charge it attacks the nitrogen these pi electrons they move and the nitrogen takes back a slow pair of electron to give you this particular intermediate we clearly know since we have an hcl inside the media and we know tms ethers can be easily reproducted using hcl so what happen oxygen gets protonated to give you this intermediate lone pair of electron charge they come back to release the tms hydroxy tms okay and what do you end up getting is the formation of this pre this compound which is the precursor for the anhydrocyclic carbenes so the correct option in this case was option number c so the next problem was based on a on on a chemistry that we have i mean read quite a lot so if we start from they say that the reaction between the cis butene and then singlet and triplet uh methylene groups what are the product we are going to get we clearly know that with the singlet carbenes the reactions are stereo specific in nature so we generally end up getting only one product and with triplet carbene we get the stereo selective products so we get two products and how does this happen for example singlet carbene it reacts with butene to give you single product and with triplet what you get is the mixture of product why does it happen for in the case of the triplet carbene hum carbene we know दोनों के दोनों जो हमारे फ्री रेडिकल होते हैं दे आर नथिंग बट दे हैव द इलेक्ट्रॉन्स इन दी सेम स्पिन ठीक है सेम स्पिन में क्या होता है दिस इज द इंटरमीडिएट दैट यू फॉर्म उसके बाद आपका क्या होता है स्लो स्पिन इन्वर्जन होता है एंड जैसे ही आपका स्पिन इन्वर्जन होता है दे फॉर्म दिस कार्बन कार्बन बॉन्ड के दो गिव यू दिस पर्टिकुलर कंपाउंड और वो कैसे होता है सो देर इज अ पॉसिबिलिटी दैट वेन यू हैव दिस पर्टिकुलर इंटरमीडिएट जिसमें मिथाइल आपका क्या है बोथ द मिथाइल आर ऑन द सेम साइड ओके अब आपका क्या हो सकता है कि आपका देर कैन बी ने इक्वली ब्रियम बिटवीन दीज टू स्टेट्स ठीक है आपका फ्री रेडिकल यहाँ है आपका ये पर्टिकुलर बॉन्ड क्या हुआ आपका वो रोटेट हो गया ठीक है जब जब की जिसकी वजह से बहुत दोनों के दोनों आपके मिथाइल ट्रांस हो गए और इन बोथ दिस केसेज आपका क्या होता है देन देर इज अ स्लो स्पिन फ्लिप ठीक है जैसे ही आपका दो स्लो स्लो स्पिन फ्लिप होता है वट यू एंड अप गेटिंग इज द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ मिक्सचर ऑफ डाइस्टीरियोमर्स मतलब आपको दो प्रोडक्ट मिलते हैं जब भी आप ट्रिपलेट कार्बिन के केस में करते हैं जबकि इन द केस ऑफ ट्रिपलेट कार्बिन क्योंकि जो दोनों के दोनों आपके रेडिकल हैं बोथ ऑफ दम आर पेयर दैट इज द रीजन वाई दे आर स्टीरियो स्पेसिफिकली एडेड ऑन टू दी ऑलिफिन टू गिव यू दी सिंगल प्रोडक्ट सो द करेक्ट ऑप्शन इन दिस केस ऑज ऑप्शन नंबर ए so the next problem that was actually asked to us here what we have is a bicyclic system treated with silver tetra fluoroborate and with the chlorobenzene now is pure ke pure agar aapko dekhenge here what we have is a chloro chloroformate right agar hum chloroformate ke andar se kya hota hai aapko one of the intermediate we know is there is a possibility of the elimination of co2 actually agar hum isi cheez ko dekhe to we can clearly no option number a is the correct option maine aapko kai baar bataya hai jab bhi molecule ke andar se you are releasing these neutral molecules that drive the reaction in the forward direction so this is exactly what happens here so when you are adding the silver tetra fluoroborate here boron Oh, sorry, oh, sorry. When I, when you add like silver tetrafluoroborate here, so what happens? It coordinates to the chlorine and it triggers the elimination of CO2. So, your these two, your electron, here come here, and the chloride is taken. So, the silver chloride is being ejected out of the system along with the CO2. So, what do you form is this particular carbocation? Now, your just like carbocation, it becomes this is an electrophilic substitution takes place to give you this particular compound. Now, our this one option, in there was AgCl given, which was eliminated. लेकिन हमारा कॉरस्पॉन्डिंग ऑप्शन वहां पे हमारा मैच नहीं करता ठीक है सो द करेक्ट ऑप्शन इन दिस केस वाज ऑप्शन नंबर वन ठीक है सो द नेक्स्ट प्रॉब्लम जो हमसे पूछा गया था हमसे पूछा गया है कि बट वी हैव इज दिस फॉस्फीन लीग एंड वी आर ट्रीटिंग विद पी बी आर थ्री एंड बट वी हैव इज अ साइक्लो hexene right actually this is a pretty a, a well known protocol for the formation of these type of ligands so what we have happen in the first step the phosphine it attacks the phosphorus x minus leaves okay so this is a intermediate at home uske baad jo dusra phosphine hota hai it again attacks the phosphine the other one leaves to aapke jo dono ke dono aapke kya hua ki halide aapke dono ke dono leave ho gaye hain so what happens one of the halide it attacks the x to release the X2 गैस सो इन दिस केस हमारा क्या है यहाँ पे हमारा ब्रोमीन रिलीज हो रहा है ठीक है और जो हमारा एक्स्ट्रा ब्रोमीन रिलीज हो रहा है दैट ब्रोमीन को हम कैसे हम रिएक्शन में से यू नो बाहर निकालें तो हम क्या करते हैं हम रिएक्शन के अंदर साइक्लोहेक्सीन डाल देते हैं जिसकी वजह से हमको पता है कि ब्रोमीन 
reacts with this cyclohexene to give you the formation of dibromo compound so this is a very very good method for the synthesis of such phosphi phos uh, such phosphine salts theek hai is tarah ke phosphine salts ko banane ka ठीक है बहुत अच्छा मेथड है ये वाला ठीक है और यहाँ पर हम देख सकते हैं कि साइक्लोएक्सिन का रोल ही है कि जो आपकी ये जो ब्रोमीन जनरेट हो रही है उससे रिएक्ट होकर टू गिव यू ट्रांस डाइब्रोमो कंपाउंड ठीक है सो बेसिकली दिस इज अ गुड मेथड फॉर जनरेट ऑफ दिस कंपाउंड और ये वाला आपका यहाँ से लिया गया है दिस इज द एग्जैक्ट यू नो पेपर फ्रॉम वेयर दिस पर्टिकुलर क्वेश्चन वॉज आस्ट वेयर दे टेल अबाउट द कन्वीनियंट मैथड फॉर द प्रिपरेशन ऑफ साइक्लिक ट्राईफोस्फीनियम ब्रोमाइड्स ओके या आप क्लोराइड भी बना सकते हैं यहाँ पर आपको पी सी एल थ्री भी ले सकते थे वो What is the product of this particular reaction? So here, what we have is ammonium borate. We can clearly see that when we have this kind of reaction, nitrogen has given its MTP orbital of borane its electron. So if we try to write it on the other side, then nitrogen is like a positively charged and bromine becomes negatively charged. If this is positively charged, it means that this hydrogen is acidic. And when you put butyl ethane, which is a strong base, what it does is it abstracts this particular proton to give you this particular कंपाउंड और इसको हम दूसरी तरह से हम ए बी लिख सकते हैं ऐसे सो द करेक्ट ऑप्शन इन दिस केस वाज ऑप्शन नंबर सी नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन जो हमसे पूछा गया पूछा गया है कि अबाउट द बेस पीक वी क्लियरली अंडरस्टैंड द बेस पीक डजेंट इज नॉट द मॉलिकुलर आयन पीक इट इज अ पीक व्हिच हैज द ग्रेटेस्ट इंटेंसिटी एंड इट मे और मे नॉट बी द मॉलिकुलर आयन पीक और जो लास्ट क्वेश्चन हमसे पूछा गया था दिस इज बेसिकली काइंड ऑफ क्वेश्चन अगर आपने पढ़ा हुआ है तब आपको पता होगा नहीं तो आपको नहीं पता होगा सो आई वुड बी सरप्राइज कि अगर किसी ने इसको नहीं किया हो सो हेयर बट वी हैव इज द जर्मेनियम टेट्राक्लोराइड ट्रीटेड विद ट्राइबोडल्टिन हाइड्राइड एंड डायऑक्सिन सो बेसिकली दिस इज अ रिएक्शन फॉर द सिंथेसिस ऑफ जर्मेनियम क्लोराइड डायऑक्सिन कॉम्प्लेक्स 